Hey everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to share with you guys my review, some swatches and lip swatches of the brand new collaboration Manny MUA did with Ofra Cosmetics for his liquid lipsticks. And I was so excited to try these out because I don't have any products from Ofra. I've never tried it in their liquid lipsticks. I've never bought anything when Kat, um, Kathleen Lights did her collab just because I wasn't interested in those colors. I've never tried it out. Heard really great reviews from everything between those collabs and just like the millions of colors they have in their collection in general. They have so many unbelievable colors. It's awesome. But when I saw the Manny MUA collection, I was like, oh my gosh, I need you. Like these are such beautiful, wearable, perfect colors that I was like, all right, it's finally the time to splurge and I am getting these. Not splurge money-wise, but just like bite the bullet and like pick some shades. I almost bought more, but I was like, let me try Manny MUA first and then I can see if I want to go back for more colors. And I definitely, definitely do. So leave me comments down below and let me know which ones are your favorite shades for sure because I would love to hear it because like I said they have so many unbelievable colors on their website so here is the three colors that Manny did this one right here is um, hypno this one right here is charmed and then this one is Aries. So I will show you guys closer up, I'll give you swatches, and then I'll tell you about each of the shades. But just to let you guys know, probably the most important thing you wanna know right now is the fact that they are currently sold out. They sold out, um, they released on Monday the 18th, I remember, because it was tax day, and that's like, the only thing at work I really cared about was like everyone's like ready to go party and have fun and I was just like yeah I just need my Ofra lipsticks. <laughs> so anyways um, they released on Monday they sold out within an hour and a half which is good but it wasn't one of those things that sold out like that which is awesome because I like everyone gets nervous when it's stuff like that because his palette in collaboration with the Makeup Geek um, palette went out like like a bang. It was so quick and fast. So I was happy that these lasted a little bit longer, which means maybe they were more prepared, they had a bigger stock, more people got to buy them. Um, I don't think it's that people were less interested. I think people were really interested in these. So the good news is it is restocking tomorrow on April 24th. I will leave down below in the description box all the info as far as the times that have been released because I can't remember off the time I had it's like 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, like noon Eastern, something like that, and I don't want to mess it up. So I will leave all that info down below. They will be restocking. I have a feeling it will go fast like it did last time, but at least know you had an hour and a half window. So there's a good chance you'll definitely get these if you haven't already. And after seeing, you know, reviews like this one, you're really interested. So I will leave all that stuff down below. I will also leave the codes that I know about because you can buy these individually for $19.90, I believe, or you can buy them all together in a bundle. And when you use a 30% off code, you can get the entire bundle for $35, which is awesome. So I will leave um, the codes down below that I know about from Instagram. Trend Mood has one in Manny MUA himself that's the code has one as well so that's awesome you get 30% off whether it's individual or whether it's the bundle which is a great price so let me tell you first a little bit about each of the shades and then I'll swatch them and then also while I'm talking I will insert closer up lip swatches as well but I won't be doing it like live on camera I'll show you up close but I will show you live swatches so the first shade I'm going to show you is called hypno and it describes it as an elegant burgundy um, that is a truly unique shade it is a universally vampy red that any skin tone can rock with confidence. So this one is probably the best quality out of the three. I will talk about all that afterward. But here is the shade. You can see that Hypno does look like a really nice burgundy and then for me it just comes off a little bit more brown than it does red on my lips but still really beautiful. Probably something that I wouldn't naturally gravitate towards and be like yeah let me get this dark burgundy vampy color but because I got the bundle it is kind of exciting the fact that I was almost forced into getting this color that I normally wouldn't buy and so it's nice to have in your collection when one day you you know you have a look in your head and you're like what what should I do I need a vampy lip and it's like boom I've got it so I am happy that I do have this color even though it's probably the one that I'll wear the least out of the three. I am excited I have it. It's a really pretty shade. I think it's going to look really great on a lot of people and on a lot of people's skin tones as well. Um, I do think it looks really nice on the lips, even though it's not my favorite color personally on myself. I think if you have fair skin, it's going to look great. I think if you have darker skin, it's going to look great as well. So the next one I'm going to show you is the one that I have on my lips right now, which is Charmed and is my favorite out of the collection. And this one says it's a pink nude mauve, which is why I love it, because I love pretty much all mauve colors. And it's destined to become an instant classic for both day and night. This dusty rose hue is perfect shade for those who enjoy a more subtle pink lippy. And that is exactly me. Like, I love an everyday kind of pinky nude mauve color. And so I love this shade so much. So let me swatch that for you. And again, you should be seeing pop up like um, a close up as well. So here is what Charmed looks like. And then here is what it looks like on my lips. I love it. 
Love, 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 love it. So again, those are those two next to each other. Now the last one I'm going to show you is Aries, and it's described as a nude with a peach pink undertone. Can be worn on the daily whether you prefer a fresh face or a need to complete a more glam makeup look. And I really do like this one as well. Um, it's, it's just like the perfect peachy nude color, and I will say, <laughs> this is kind of funny. So here is Aries, you can see how it gets lighter and much more nudey peach color. Um, it does say it's a pink peach, but I find that it has a little bit more of a peach undertone, at least when I wear it. It's funny because I kind of wanted to put these through different tests, so I wore this one to go to the gym the other day, and it was, um, it was on Thursday, so it was a circuit class, so it was like timed classes with all these exercises and stuff, and I was sweating, I was wiping my lips, I was drinking water, and like, I came out, it still looked good, I sent a picture to my friend, and she was like, oh, that looks great on you, and I'm like, good, because I just went through an entire hour workout with it wearing on, and it still looked awesome. I mean, obviously I could touch it up if I wanted to, but I didn't need to, like, I'd be fine going out in public and rocking it, it looked great, so it's definitely, definitely wearable through a workout, um, these are not exactly kiss proof, um, I'd say this one is the least kiss proof or transfer proof that they will, you know, transfer for I wore to. I mean, like this one's not that bad. You could barely see it. If I really try, then you can start to see that a little bit of a kiss mark. But this one doesn't dry down completely um, with Aries, so this one's not completely transfer proof, but it did really well with the workout. Now, hip, uh, I want to say hippo for some reason. Hip, no. Um, this one right here, I put through the food test. And this one, I ate Chipotle. <laughs> and it lasted all through my Chipotle and my chips and guacamole, and it looked great as well. So I went through a nice little test. Obviously, like you could touch them up and make them really perfect all over again, but they kind of stain your lips where you have like a nice um, color to your lips even going through eating and working out like not a lot of it comes off so that's good so those are all the colors now let me tell you about the formula because these are probably one of my favorite formulas ever I love them um, they're more hydrating than most even than the Stila and like the Kat Von D ones like the way to describe it in my mind is that if the Tarte Tartiest or the Tarte what are they called? The um, the Tarte paint, the lip paints that came out before the holidays or right around the holidays before like the new lippies came out recently. The Tarte lip paints, which I have Namaste, it's as if that and then like the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks had a baby. And that's what Ofra is because the Tarte ones are a formula where they dry matte but they stay like a whipped formula where they're not going to dry down where you could touch them and they're going to like move all around. But they're really nice. They give you the matte look but they're much more moisturizing than a typical liquid lipstick. And then you've got Stila which before I tried these was a really great formula. Really easy to work with. Um, it dried really quickly but um, they weren't quite as moisturizing as the Tarte ones. So to me it's as if those two had a baby, so if you're someone like a lot of people didn't like those tart lip paints, I personally enjoyed them. Um, a lot of people didn't because they didn't dry down like a typical liquid lipstick. Some people may say like the Stila ones are too drying, so they're like the perfect combination of both is Ofra to me. Now I will say the formula does get better and better in each of the shades, so the weakest formula for me is Aries, the next best is Charmed, and the best one is Hypno. They do layer pretty well. I'd say the best way is to let them dry for about 10-15 seconds, and then go in with another layer if you want to really like vamp it up. Like they said, these are all wearable during the day, but you could go in with that second layer for a nighttime look. So this one does well, but I think it takes the longest to dry, and then these two are just phenomenal. They smooth out your lips, I mean all are phenomenal but these dry really fast. All of them just smooth out your lips and make them look really nice. It, everything settles into your fine lines, but in a good way, where it doesn't crack. It's like it fills in everything about your lips. Everything is filled in and smooth, and so it looks plumper and better. And so I like that. A lot of liquid lipsticks will settle into those fine lines, and then just, they're so tight and drying, they just crack, and then you just have cracks and lines. These really fill them in and look wonderful. So I'm super impressed by Ofra trying it for the first time. Manny's colors are beautiful. They're so wearable and gorgeous. I love them. So happy I picked up the bundle, and I'm definitely going to have to try out more Ofra liquid lipsticks as well. So if you guys are totally interested in these liquid lipsticks, I would definitely get your hands on them tomorrow um, when they restock, because maybe that's probably going to be the final one, would be my guess, is that they're going to do the one restock, give it a really good chance to get a lot of people to get them, and then that's probably going to be done. That's my educated guess. So if you're interested, I would definitely pick up these bad boys, because they are wonderful in general, colors, formula, and the brand in general as well. So I hope you guys 
enjoyed this review and the swatches and the lip swatches and getting to see all the colors and to hear about the formula. So I would love to know your thoughts down below if any of you guys got your hands on them earlier this week and what you think about them or what you guys think about any of the other colors as well if you have suggestions because I'm super excited about this brand now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and if you did give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to all my upcoming videos and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!